Hi, Kim Covert with Silverleaf Travel. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope this narrows down your world of possibilities of all the vacation ideas and options that are out there. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to me afterwards. I'm more than happy to answer any questions or if you want me to do this live for you or anybody else, I'm more than happy to, to do this live so we can do a little Q&A at the end. Uh, but this will be just a more broad um, introduction to these more popular ways of vacationing and I'll delve deeper into each of these in future recordings but um, I just wanted to give you kind of a taste to see if this would incite any ideas that you may have. So I love this this quote we travel not to escape life but for life not to escape us because during the pandemic pandemic life escaped us so let's get back to living and back to checking things off of our bucket list and not waiting for milestones or retirements it's time is now it's fun to have something to look forward to in the future so i've traveled all over the world for the past 30 years between my careers and my personal life and i haven't been everywhere but it's on my list so wherever i haven't been if i ever need assistance i do have trusted suppliers that i can lean on who do know those areas uh, well that i know will take good care of my customers and i always get asked do travel agents still exist yes yes more than ever we still exist um we're such a busy busy um community and everyone's overwhelmed with all the information that are that's out there we're such an outsourcing kind of community uh, we hire people to do everything from cleaning our home to cleaning our pools to walking our dogs things like that so why not lean on someone for something as important as your vacation so it's stress free <laughs> and relaxing so um here are um the four more popular ways of traveling ocean and river cruising escorted land tours all-inclusive resorts and independent travel uh, so basically the difference between ocean and river cruising obviously is the ship size so on a river cruise you're going to have about 150 pa passengers on average some have a little more some have a little less but it's basically 150 across the board um, and then for the ocean ships you could have them as small as about 36 people those are those expedition style um, cruise ships up to the mega cruise ships that hold like 5,000 passengers there's actually going to be one 6,000 passengers that Disney just bought uh, that's going to sail in Asia in the next couple of years and river cruises they are in destination you're on the river uh, every day you'll be in at least one city so you could be in two cities where you you arrive in the morning you get off the ship you come back on the ship for lunch it sails to the next city uh, and then you get to see another one so and then you, you of course you have the shoreline on either side and these beautiful vineyards growing upside the mountains and castles on top of the hill it's really quite beautiful so you're really in the destination where ocean cruises you are being taken to destinations so depending on the itinerary you're going to have at least one sea day um, more as the as the itinerary is longer and you're going to have maybe like eight hours in each port some itineraries you can overnight um, but it gives you like a little taste of each port um, so that's kind of the, the main difference between the the port times uh, and then ocean cruise lines you have multiple cruise lines that gear are geared towards families so they'll have the water slides and the kids activities and multiple pools and things like that the bigger the ship the more activities on the river cruise lines they're just small there's just not enough activities for young kids there's age restrictions i think disney charters a river cruise uh but and then they gear that towards kids with activities on board but that's about it um so that's why the river cruise lines kind of gear towards the older adults and the ocean liners you have the royal caribbeans and the norwegians that gear towards the kids um, obviously there's ones that are geared towards adults for ocean liners as well but uh, that's the main difference and then the dining of course the river cruise lines since the the ships are smaller you'll have one to two um, restaurants on board and then ocean liners you're going to have multiple restaurants and you're going to have the buffet and you're going to have a most likely a grill near the pool you'll have a coffee shop ice cream 24 hours you'll just have a lot more options for dining so again the bigger the ship the more you're going to have 
So these are not every cruise line that's out here, but here's a few. Uh, you'll probably recognize, obviously, like Royal Caribbean and Norwegian. Uh, Uncruise is more of an expedition style uh, cruise line that's real no frills, but they really take you into destinations. They, it's really unique. Um, and then there's a couple new ones, or a few new ones, actually. So we got uh, Explorer Journeys and the Atlas, Ritz Carlton is actually ha does have a yacht. Um, Four Seasons is getting into the yacht business. So we, there's a lot. So um, Virgin Voyages is an adult only a cruise line that's, uh, that's just come out. So there's a lot out there. And then for river cruise lines, here, you'll everybody knows Viking. Uh, but there's Alma Waterways and Scenic and Uniworld, Tauk. Uh, there's two here in the U.S., American Cruise Lines and American Steamboat. So you don't need to go overseas to sail on a river. You can do Mississippi or, or the um, Snake River, things like that. So there's, a, there's other options. Uh, so then escorted land tours, I'll just go over this generally, is you're with a group of people could be as small as 12 people could be as large as like 40 people and you're you're escorted most likely by a bus altogether it's pre-packaged your hotels are taken care of uh your itinerary is taken care of it's a set date and you it's a quick pace that you're usually in a hotel in one town one to two nights um so you're you're on the go and you're you're seeing a lot and there's various types of tours out there and they're all over the world they're even here in the u.s um, you can have them less active more active geared more towards the younger crowd uh, their budgets you know exclusivity there's just a lot of different options out there uh, so it's a great way to just sit back and relax because you'll have a tour guide that will explain everything that you're looking at so it's great um, and then so here's an example of an itinerary i won't read this but i'll show you just kind of the pace where you're in Venice for two nights, you know, Florence, Siena, Rome, uh, down to Sorrento. And you can add days before and after this or go somewhere else before or after these tours. But this just shows you as a group, this is where you, you're going to go. And they do build in free time, but this is, a, you know, there's usually a tour in each town, at least, uh, not to, if not two. So and here's one round trip Madrid. Here's one that's a little bit more active. So there's hikes included. So there's three hikes through these six days. So this is for the more active uh, itinerary. And then there's all inclusive resorts. These are great because you pretty much know how much you're going to spend on vacation before you even go. It's one flat price per person per night. And that will include your meals, your beverages, which is your alcohol and now non-alcoholic beverages, um, things like uh, snorkeling usually, uh, stand up paddle boards if they have it. Um, it's a, if it's a family resort, they'll have a kids club, you'll have nightly entertainment. So it really is all included. You can put your wallet in the safe and practically not have to pay for anything. Things like spa treatments and any other activities will be extra. There might be an upcharge on like lobster, but otherwise pretty much everything's done. It's great. It's great for families. So it's great to know what you're going to spend before you go. And there's different types of all-inclusive resorts. There's adult only, there's family, and then there's family resorts that have an adult only section where the adults can go to the family section, but the family, the kids can't come into the adult only section. And there's resorts that have reciprocal benefits between other resorts. So it's, you get the benefits of having access to one, two, three plus other resorts, but you're, you're staying in one. So it's great, you're paying for one. Um, there's different types of views uh, from your room. There's uh, these swim up rooms where you have like, a pool outside your room. They could be private or public with the like five or six other rooms that you share. Um, some include green fees for um, golfing. So it just depends on your room category or how many nights you're staying. There, it's just really a great, great benefit. You don't have to worry about anything. This is kind of an example, some photos, the swim out types of room you can see um you can have the this picture with the plunge pool on the on the roof here that's a two-story room where the bedroom is down below and then up top you have this plunge pool and, and lounges so you're pretty exclusive all by yourself there and then kids clubs could have or kids uh, properties could have water slides or lazy rivers they'll have kids programs and the bedding the, the room configurations can be very different there could be bunk beds or two double beds 
uh, or like a one bedroom suite, two bedroom suite. So for, for it's more set up for families. And then independent travel is just that. Uh, you name it, you do it. And then you're doing it all on your own. So you set the budget, you set how many, how much time you want to be traveling, where you want to travel, what you want to do each day, and we can package it and customize it to whatever you want. So it could be um, however many days. And if you don't want anything scheduled, we don't schedule anything. But if you want every minute scheduled, we can schedule it. So it's really however you want. Uh, but also independent travel is things like running a house or a villa in Jamaica and it comes with staff. So you have a chef, you have house cleaning service. It's over water bungalows in Tahiti or Fiji or Maldives. And there's a few in Mexico. Um, it's a self drive or chauffeur driven tour through Ireland. It's a dude ranch. It's a rail vacation across Canada. You name it. You, there's just a lot of options out there that you can do just on your own. So here's an example of a itinerary I just did uh, for a customer for Italy and it was for a couple and they wanted three cities um, and they wanted to go to Bari because their family was from, from there. So this was fun to put together, but this shows you that all the elements, all your transfers, your train tickets, your excursions, um, your hotel, everything is taken care of. And here's one for a solo woman that I just did. Um, and I worked with a local supplier there in Finland uh, since I have not been to Finland and wanted a trusted supplier since she is a solo female uh, that would take her to, to uh, the Lapland and stay in one of those glass igloos to see the Northern Lights. It's, it's going to be really cool. Um, so think other types of travel. Think of a group. Do you belong to a photography group or a church group, golf group? We can do golf themed travel, um, birthday celebrations, multi-family, you know, multi-generational family trips, uh, family reunions, you name it, you can do any, almost any type of travel with a group. You can do cruises, you can do all-inclusive resorts, the dude ranch is great, uh, things like that. So incentive travel and within your company, maybe set goals for an employee or a group of employees uh, or the whole company. And if you reach them, then you go on vacation. Uh, it could be a, a short, you know, three, four, five night cruise or an all-inclusive stay, uh, multi-generational travel, like I said, because those are great for, um, you know, multiple uh, generations that want to do various activities. You can find vacations that everybody can do. Wellness travel, there's properties that are geared towards that, whether it be they do yoga, their meals are really healthy, they do hikes every day, or is it a river cruise where you have a fitness director, you have an um, activities director on board and they lead the classes or they lead yoga on the sun deck. Ocean liners, you're gonna have a great um, fitness classes and, and a gym and a walking track and a running track. <laughs> so there's a lot, lot to do for uh, wellness travel as well. And just a vacation period is great for your wellness. <laughs> and I won't go too much into this, but um, this, is very, 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 very important. And most people don't know about this and don't care about this, but I will push this, recommend this, and quote this with every trip I do because it is so critical. And it's travel insurance, just like homeowner's insurance and car insurance, you hope you don't need it, but you're, you'll be so happy you have it if you do need it. And, I, and it's just so important if something should come up and you have to cancel last minute, you don't lose all your trip costs. You don't lose your vacation money. You've worked so hard for it, you've planned for it, you don't wanna lose it. And it also protects you while you're traveling. If you should get hurt, someone back home, your, your sister gets hurt and you have to fly home, uh, you name it. There's a lot of reasons why it's very beneficial to have uh, travel insurance. And so this is just a couple stories from my colleagues of clients who didn't have travel protection. So just you can read, read through it. I have some of my own, um, but these these are just reasons why. And here's more of people who have had it, happy that they had it. So, um, but you know, leaning on a travel agent, whether it's myself or somebody is just so beneficial. You know, we're, we're, we're experienced, we're educated, we strive for wonderful customer service. I really pride myself in my customer service. We are, are looking for the best value for you. Um, we will never pay more working with me. You will always pay the same or less that when you book direct. So it's, it's just easy. It's practical. 
Um, I'm here, happy to help answer any questions. If you want me to do this live, want me to do something else, <laughs> let me know. I am here for you. Thank you so much.